does climate change impact Oregon economically? A group of professors from Oregon are trying to help you understand the answer to that question. Faculty from University of Oregon and Reed College just released their first report. KT's Allison Gutlieber is at the live desk. So Allison, the report is using data from previous studies. That's right. The group is focused on understanding research that has already been done and letting families know what climate change could cost them. Heat waves, wildfires, sea level rise, air quality, all climate change events that are being analyzed by five Oregonians. Keaton Miller is a professor at the University of Oregon and part of the group. He says the goal is to sort through and process the information to find what's most applicable to Oregon. Some of these other things that are, are less visible but, but still impactful. And I think a really great example of that is the cost of smoke. Um, you know, it's it's some of it is direct. Some of it is buying, you know, air purifiers, uh, which a lot of my friends have done. A lot of uh, classrooms at the university that, that I work at now have, you know, air, air purifiers in them. Miller says there are other costs that you might not think of. Things like lost wages, right? You, you have to stay home uh, because your kids can't go to school because there's too much smoke or something like that. You can't work a day uh, or you're feeling bad yourself or you're working outdoors and your work site is closed because the smoke is too bad. He says those costs impact the bottom line for families, businesses, and local governments right now. According to the report, the economic cost of wildfire smoke is $450 per household. Oregonians could lose $12,000 in personal income per year due to greenhouse gases already in the atmosphere. Miller tells K2 that data comes from a study published in Nature, the scientific publication. And Miller says they have plans to release two more reports in 2025, which will focus on household impacts as well as small businesses. At the Live Desk, Allison Gutlieber, K2 News. Allison, thank you.